You want him? You want him? Oh, man! <laughs> 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 So me and the boys have been living as a foursome for quite a while now. So far, we're all still getting along. We've all got our own morning routines. I'm definitely an early riser. Don't know what it is, but you just can't beat a 6 a.m. workout. I've never been a fan of early starts, but now I've got Cali, I've got responsibilities. Yeah. It's one of those houses that's just always on the go. It's bloody exhausting. Hello. <laughs> go for a walk. Come on, Carl. Oh, here we go. Come on. Good girl. Come on. She just walks really slow. I think she just does it to annoy you. So she's got a bit of selective hearing. Now, most people like rest after a busy week at work. We don't. First things first. Who needs lazy Saturdays when you can get the adrenaline pumping? Let's go climbing. Well, it's past 7.30 in the morning. We're going rock climbing, as you do, on a Saturday morning. My time I went rock climbing in about year eight. So this is everything I've got, everything I need for today. So I'm heading off to see my parents this afternoon, but Max currently projectiling out of both ends. So obviously Max shot his campaign yesterday and he was literally throwing up all night. And I've never actually seen him ill before and I've known him for a year, so Let's see if he's actually all right. Mac? So I guess you're staying in today. Looks like I'm gonna win the rock climb. Ooh, that's a win. <laughs> See, the thing about Mac is he loves to win, right? But today he can't win because he can't get out of bed on account of his bum sickness. Every cloud has a silver lining. No, it's not good. <laughs> Boys, what's happening? Yo, ready to climb. We're ready to rock. I've got to go to this family dinner, dinner after an hour, so. Where's the back door? Yeah, it's Mac's still written off. Yeah. Mate, he's still yeah. not in a good word. Mate, we're going to go do the wall climbing, and I'm just gutted for Mac. At least, though, uh, we know he's going to win the uh, rock climbing now. Why? He's not competing. He's not competing. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the big hang game, chop, chop. I hate heights, bro. Do you? Yeah, I hate it. When I stay at a hotel, and when you go down the lift and it's glass, and now you're the yeah. floor. I hate that. Do you? I am probably scared of heights. I didn't know he was actually that. Like, 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 I've always been scared of heights. The thing is, when it gets down to the nitty gritty, I'm competitive. So like, my body ain't gonna stop me winning or getting close to winning. Is oh, that, yeah, you can see it. Oh. That looks big enough. Wait, I'm a bloody hell, that's close. How's it looking? How's it looking? Oh, that's giving me uh Say GoPro, Danny. GoPro. <laughs> GoPro. Go I'm oh. Mike, I'm gonna be your instructor for the day. If you wanna head off with us, we will Let's do it. Straight. Which one which one we climbing? So you see that big tile there? Oh no, right, yeah, sweet. Oh okay. Yeah. That's 11 meters. That's when you've got to touch for that. Tiny. That's taller than 11 meters. <laughs> that looks hard. Whose idea was this? I'm not scared of heights, so I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, uh, oh, it's high backs yeah. that, mate. Yeah. Was it first? Is there a bell up there? Is it, is like you ring a bell, no? Yeah, so the idea is you see, there's a blue hole above these red ones, and there's a red one above the blue and green ones. So that's the finishing point. What happens if you fall off? You die. I'm a little bit scared. These are our harnesses, guys. Yeah, yeah man. Guys. Okay, so. so are you timing it then? Is it a time trail? Yeah. yeah. So race against the clock, first person to the top. I don't know why, we just love a competition. No way. Yeah. Time trial, whoever wins, wins. That's it. I went first on the wall because I thought, I'm quite scared of heights. I just want to get it out of the way. What's going to hold me back is being scared. Like this. Is, is it? Yeah. No, I think you'll surprise yourself here. I think you've got it in the bag. Positive thinking. I think. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's rather high now. He's rather high, Charles. I must say, you're quite high up there, mate. I like your socks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you setting up base camp there, or are you going to carry on? Oh, what's the view like up there, Jordan? Are you scared yet? I get underestimated in this gap, you know. You know what, boys? Watch this. I'm going for it. See, I told you he'd surprise himself. He's doing well, very well. I don't think I'll do this good. 51 seconds. That was extremely good. I think 
think if I was looking where I was putting my feet, I might have got up a little bit quicker. Three, two, one, go! Go on, Daddy! Oh, he's got, he's got strength. Yeah. These balls from behind. <laughs> Proper mangina. Danny went halfway up, he thought he was on a modelling shoot because he stopped. That's it. You're always there, you're always there, so close. Mate, I'm shrugged now. I don't know what I was thinking, it was meant to be a time trial, the fastest one wins. I get up there and I'm just having to be chilling. <laughs> 57 seconds! Oh. I've not got a competitive burn in my body, especially when going against these lads. I am in the lead at the moment. Position, but I know Chris is going to be like flipping Spider Man. He's saying he's not been climbing before. I've never done it before. He definitely hasn't. He's in Boy Scouts, man. Chris has got the advantage as well. He's seen where we're put our feet. He's got a photograph of memory. So I started off. Six wins. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Man's trying to tell us he's not been climbing before. Chris was like Spider Man up that wall. Never been rock climbing before. Look at him. Gas man. I think he got half the time that I did, and I thought I did well. I'm not going to pretend I'm not happy about winning, but um, Jordan ain't happy. Never been he beat me by a lot, and I'm not going to lie, it niggled me, and it niggled me, and all I wanted to do was get back on that wall and find a way to beat him. Beat you if I beat you. <laughs> Go again, then. Go on, then. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> I've got to leave. I'll do this again. I'll do it right now. It was like being back at school. You ready, Jordan? Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go on, Jordan! Go on, son! You want him? You want him? Go with your legs, Jordan. Use your legs to push yourself up. Go on! About to the win, but he's, he's stalling a bit at the top. Oh, Chris got the win. That was a close one. First race, Chris beat me by 30 seconds, yeah. Last race, he only beat me by two seconds. <laughs> oh, Chris, I reckon I could beat you at this, you know. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> nah, are you scared? I think Chris is scared, you know. You won't beat Danny. Come on, then! Don't let me leave me! Don't let me leave me! <laughs> I'm too competitive, I could not help myself mate, but that's just how I am. It's a shame Matt wasn't there because that would have been a funny three-way race and Danny right at the bottom. So there we have it, I've lost another round and it's just making me realise the one thing I don't have in common with these lads is that competitive edge. I've done an ice bath already, I've had my car wrapped in tin foil. I feel like I'm just getting stick left, right and centre here. So Matt's out of bed, Chris is back from his mum and dad's, and no one is going to let Danny forget that he's a loser. I can feel a forfeit coming on. Danny here, you lost another challenge? You heard right, mate. Lost again. Do you know what that means? I need to sort my act out. Do you know what that means? What? That's not winning, lad. You're going to have to, mate. It's getting embarrassing. You know what it is? Because you're not just like, do you better. What's the forfeit, though? I've got a few ideas. Do you know I do my videos out in public? Yeah. The embarrassment stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got to do one with me. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah? I'll do that. Think Whatever it is, you're going to do it, yeah? For Danny's forfeit, he's joining me on the high street at Loughton. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? But no, uh, what he's not accounted for is the fact that he's in high heels and he's got to do a choreographed dance. Oh, oh yeah. I'm a proper perfectionist, but I want to get it as close to perfect as we can within the realms of human possibility. Oh, it's hard. Oh, I couldn't concentrate, that's why I couldn't get the dance. It took me so long. Oh, too early. I draw the line of heels. Good luck, lads. Off you go. <sighs> Just fuck them up. Yeah. 
Danny's getting strapped in. Are you in? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, it hurts, darling. When I bought the heels a while back, I was like, yeah, let's just go for like seven inches. Michael, we do this every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> why are you giving a sass about it? Danny, why do your legs look so good in heels? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether to say this is a compliment or not, but the amount of people who said that my legs looked good in these heels, like... <laughs> I've definitely not worn these before, but I don't think I'm going to be wearing them again. But anyways, why is everyone saying that my legs look good? I'm glad this one's not me. I'll watch this one from the sidelines. Hey, have, have some water. Get your heads together. I cannot work with him. <laughs> so when we started doing this dance routine in public, I'm not going to lie, I felt embarrassed and it's not my comfort zone. But once we get into it, if we just switched into work mode and it's like, right, let's get this done. Dan might hate this, but he actually looks good in heels. It's like he's done this before. 